Hello, my name is Chad Smith, Principal Solutions Architect for IQ Geo. In this short video, I will review how Network Manager Telecom supports secondary geometries for coaxial network display and drafting. Using Network Manager Telecom, organizations can optionally display coaxial equipment and cabling on the map outside of the primary contained data model, as it is important for HFC engineers to see things like tap plate labels, rotations and values of directional couplers, cable line styles, and power insertion points. Data blocks displaying property information about amplifiers, nodes, and tap port levels are also available to optionally display. As I zoom into an area with coaxial network, we can see the coaxial network offset geometry layer activate and display cabling, equipment, and data blocks containing amplifier and tap end-of-line values. From the layer pane on the left, we can see all of the features associated with the coaxial offset geometries for equipment and cabling, which can be turned off and on by the end user. By turning off the coaxial offset geometry layers, we can select a network manager structure and see that contained hierarchical model is still present and unaffected by the drafting of the related secondary offset geometries. By selecting a structure containing equipment and cable connectivity, I can represent a structure schematic even when the secondary offset geometries are disabled. I will now set the offset geometry display on again to demonstrate selecting and editing these layers for detailed drafting purposes. In this example, editing a cable that is configured for offset geometry display, a user now has two editing options, path and offset. The existing path geometry edit is used for rerouting a cable start and endpoint locations within the structure network, while the offset edit option allows users to draft and display cabling and equipment as they would like to see them on the map. In my next example, I will select a coaxial terminator and edit its offset geometry by rotating the feature on the map display and saving this change. Equipment and cabling are still inserted into structures in the same way as previous versions of Network Manager, but with the offset geometry layers set to display. These inserted cabling and equipment display at a standard offset, which can then be selected and edited by users for drafting display purposes. I'll begin by inserting a new optical node and moving its offset geometry to the center of the road, followed by inserting a new 540p3 coax cable and editing its offset linear geometry. Lastly, I will turn off the offset geometry layer group and review the new cable and optical node in only the hierarchical tree view from the details pane.
In summary, IQGO's Network Manager Telecom now enables organizations to display and edit secondary geometries of cabling and equipment locations on the map. This also includes the ability to display and dynamically update data blocks containing information related to specific amplifier, node, and tap port level properties. While this capability has been added for coaxial networks initially, it will also be extended for fiber and copper networks in a future release.